Now more than a year into the pandemic, telehealth has become a household term. But what will happen to the platform when life starts to trend back to normal? KSBY's Neil Iber has more. Virtual meetings and virtual happy hours might stick around until the end of the pandemic. But what about virtual doctor's appointments? Yeah, I definitely do. I think it'll get more intelligent and probably easier for the consumer to use. Telehealth has exploded over the past year. Tenet Health Central Coast going as far as creating their very own tele-ER program at Sierra Vista Regional Medical Center. We've had a patient at home who's called in with uh, some signs and symptoms of a stroke. We recommend they came in and sure enough, they wound up getting admitted for a stroke. Um, we've also had a few patients who have called in uh, with some abdominal pain. Uh, one was pregnant and thought that it was because uh, of their pregnancy. And another gentleman happened to be driving through and saw our billboard and called in. Uh, both of them wind up coming to the facilities and they both wind up having to get appendectomies. The extended reach healthcare developed with telehealth is just getting started. I think telehealth as a whole has increased our availability, increased our access for patients to interact with their doctor and probably prevented a lot of disease that would have gone on if the patient had just been staying at home waiting for the pandemic to end. Paul Fry, director of ambulatory services for Lompoc Valley Medical Center, says there are a few downsides to the emergence of telehealth. The downside may be that the patient may be hesitant to come in uh, and wanting to uh, utilize the telemedicine when the doctor is thinking, huh, I, I need to see this person. So there might be a little bit of a, a disconnect there. We'll deal with that when it comes and, and hopefully the patients are reasonable enough to say, my doctor wants me in his office, I, I better listen to him. For Christina Pio, an OBGYN at Sierra Vista, she thinks telehealth visits for to-be and new mothers is here to stay. I personally think that telehealth will continue to expand, especially for our mothers and our postpartum mothers. Uh, the convenience of telehealth has really um, sort of revolutionized the way that we are able to see our patients. Our elderly mamas, they definitely can appreciate the fact that they don't have to come in because a lot of them are very much strictly quarantining. And so this really allows them to have their visits and get their questions answered. Healthcare professionals vouching for telehealth, saying it won't replace in-person medicine completely, but it will be a complementary form of care for years to come. Neil Aber, KSBY News.